The Kerala police has registered a case against Catholic priest Father James after he allegedly tried to influence a witness in the case against Jalandhar Bishop Father Frank. Now, Father James allegedly attempted to lure the nun with land building and safety to withdraw the rape case she had filed against the Jalandhar Bishop. Now, in a leaked uh, audio conversation between Father James and the nun, the priest can be heard threatening and attempting to bribe the nun by building a convent that would be built exclusively for nuns, including the survivor, and this would be in exchange of withdrawing the rape complaint. Father James has been asked to step down from his responsibilities after the audio was leaked. Remember, on June 27th, a nun had filed a police complaint accusing Mulakal of raping her 13 times between 2014 and 2016. The church is in the dock yet again. Days after a nun accused Jalandar Bishop Franco Mullakal of sexually assaulting her several times, the Siro Malabar Catholic Church now stands accused of an attempt to cover up the entire case. The family of the rape survivor has made an audio clip public which exposes Father James, a friend of Bishop Mullakil, allegedly trying to mediate with the victim's friend, who also happens to be a nun. In the audio clip, the priest is heard trying to convince the nun to ask the victim to withdraw the police complaint. In return, he allegedly offers land, safety and a better posting in the diocese. <laughs> Embarrassed by the turn of events, the church has asked Father James to step down from his responsibilities. There are uh, rotten apples everywhere. There are, there are rotten apples inside the church too. Please don't generalize the church based on that. The church is uh, not protecting anybody. The church should not protect and church will not protect anybody. Even as the church disowned Father James, the police have booked him for criminal intimidation. The church may claim the priest acted without its knowledge. But these developments raise serious questions about the institution's seriousness in checking sexual assaults by the clergy. With Gopi Krishna Nurnitan in Kochi, Bureau Report, India Today.